Arizona restaurant gets shut down after what they posted about our president overnight. There was a time when it was cool to espouse American values. Being patriotic and supporting the military and or the president was something that you absolutely did unless we were a complete hooligan and general drain on society. At some point, there was a fundamental shift, and that's not the case anymore. Maybe it was the hippies and their idealistic view of peace or maybe it was their children who turned out to be generally self-serving. Regardless of how it happened, there is now a climate of such hatred for the country and all the principles we use to be grateful for that a company can actually be run out of business for announcing it. Of course, the law isn't coming in and shutting them down for saying they support the president and the anthem. But they're also not stopping the lawless who harass the law-abiding citizens who are proud of their country. Fox News reported about one Tuscan, Arizona restaurant that made a bold statement and paid a massive price for it. An Arizona restaurant was forced to close its doors indefinitely this week after a politically charged Facebook post the eatery's owners wrote prompted mass criticism from social media users. Christopher Smith and Jay Warren the owners of Cup It Up American Grill in Tucson, posted a statement on the restaurant's social media page last week with a list of things the two support and resent, including the president, kneeling for the anthem and late-night hosts, Vice News reported. The post stated, We believe in and support 100% in the following, our president, always standing for the national anthem, repealing Obamacare. The outrage toward this post should show us just how far we've slid as a country that a huge percentage of people would consider this offensive. They support the president and making sure that welfare recipients aren't using our hard-earned dollars to support their drug habit. Not exactly revolutionary ideas, but the politically correct world that we live in found it highly objectionable, apparently. But maybe it wasn't what they support that was the problem, maybe it was what they don't support what caused the issue. Their list of things they don't believe in or support included, those that don't respect our president, armed forces, and first responders, kneeling for the national anthem, Antifa, fake news, global warming and late-night hosts getting political. The post concluded fault with, if you like this post, please share it with five friends and we look forward to your next visit. If you disagree with this post. Please share it with 100 friends and we won't be expecting you anytime soon. The restaurant's post also mentioned the eatery would not broadcast NFL games until the organization got it together. The post, which went viral, was met with widespread backlash and criticism, forcing the restaurant to delete it and all its social media accounts. The restaurant received so many angry phone calls that several employees chose to quit, reports say. People threatened to burn down the restaurant with the owners in it. It's a crazy world we're in, Ron Sanchez, whose daughter worked at the eatery, told ABC 15. Erica Yip, a regular customer of the restaurant, told ABC 15 the post was not smart but respected their opinion. I respected their decision to speak up and be patriotic whether people agree or not, Yip told ABC 15. It wasn't smart for them to do what they did from a business aspect especially being down here in the university, which is more liberal and young. Maybe they shouldn't have spoken up, maybe it would have been better for them if they'd just left it alone and been able to keep their business alive. Or maybe that kind of thinking is what got us in trouble in the first place. A couple of generations of apathy and we're dealing with young adults who truly believe that rioting and beating the hell out of people who disagree with them is going to solve the problem. As much as we would love to report that the Patriots banded together and gave this company a happy ending, that's just not the case. This is the kind of story where the bullies won the battle, and the company decided they'd needed to look out for their employees who would be in danger of suffering harm at the hands of the brutal anti-Americans who'd been threatening them. Last Monday, the restaurant posted a statement on its door, announcing it would be closing indefinitely. We have made a decision to close our doors indefinitely as of today, Monday, October 9, 2017. The safety of our employees and our families is of great concern and is our number one priority at this time, the statement said. We would also like to extend a special thanks to our military and first responders. Thank you all and God bless. The battle is lost, but not the war.
This should serve as a reminder to all of us to go out of our way to defend the innocent and defend those whose rights are being trampled. If we are really all endowed by our Creator with the rights to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, stories like these show us just how far we've let the left push us. If we don't stand our ground now, we won't have ground to stand on very very soon, very soon.